On this day in 2001, a significant breakthrough occurred in the pursuit of justice as Gary Ridgway, a notorious serial killer, was arrested. This arrest marked a pivotal moment in the effort to bring a remorseless murderer to justice. Gary Ridgway, infamously known as the Green River Killer, eventually pleaded guilty to a staggering 49 murders. His crimes had terrorized the Pacific Northwest for years, and his capture was the result of relentless investigative work by law enforcement. Ridgway's journey to capture was not without its twists and turns. He had previously come to the attention of law enforcement, having been arrested in 1982 and 2001 on charges related to prostitution. It was in 1983 that he became a suspect in the Green River killings, a shadow that would follow him for years. In 1984, Ridgway passed a polygraph test, which added a layer of complexity to the investigation. On April 7, 1987, police took hair and saliva samples from Ridgway, seeking to uncover any evidence that might link him to the string of murders. Ridgway's ability to pass a polygraph test was a chilling reminder of the challenges faced by law enforcement in bringing him to justice. Here are the polygraph questions and answers. Gary, you have heard all the questions on this test, are there any you are going to lie to? No. Regarding the deaths of prostitutes, have you told the police the complete truth about that? Yes. Is your true last name Ridgway? Yes. Have you ever caused the death of a prostitute? No. Before you were 30 years old, did you ever physically injure anyone without provocation? No. Were you born in the state of Utah? Yes. Do you know of anyone who has killed a prostitute? No. Before you were 30 years old, did you ever lie about someone to get them into serious trouble? No. Have you taken any illegal drug or narcotic in the last 48 hours? No. Gary Ridgway, the Green River Killer, is serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole. He entered a plea agreement in 2003 in exchange for a life sentence instead of facing the death penalty.